started back in 1890, but it's not an original Aruvian plant. What history tells us is that the Dutch brought the plant here to Aruba to boost Aruba's economy. They brought it out of an island that's on the coast of Africa called Socotra. Yeah, they brought it and saw that this is the perfect climate to grow a aloe. So back in the days, two third part of the island was filled with this plant, which they decide to start working with the aloe, but only focusing on this sap. Yeah, anybody familiar with the yellow sap? The sap only? Yes, use it for anything? Yes, burns here? I think we're more accustomed to the clear sap, not the yellow one. Yeah, well, this yellow sap is known as aloe. It do not uh, produce it in cold weather or weather that change constantly. More in tropical places, okay. you're going to see the yellow sap of the plant. It known as aloe and it was used as a strong natural laxative. Yeah, so let me tell you that few drops on your coffee of this yellow sap and in 10 minutes the restroom gonna be your best friend. Yeah? <laughs> oh yes. What they used to do with the laxative, the yellow sap, an easy way to export it was boiling it. So they used to cook it for 8 to 10 hours. And then the yellow part gonna become solid like oh, wow. this rock. Calling it the aloe hearts or the gold of Aruba because it was the first income to boost the economy of the island. It was easy to export and to sell to pharmaceuticals so they could grind it up and turn it into little pills. More easy for a person to drink and you know, faster to go. But then in the 1968, we stopped working with it. A lot of people start to use the synthetic products they wasn't worrying anymore about the laxative, so we also decide to get focused on something else. It was in that year that we decide to keep working with the aloe, but to focus on the inside part, which is the crystal gel. And so it's now with this crystal that we make all of our cosmetics products. We don't work with the laxative anymore. Yeah, they told me that a lot of Arubian wives used to do bad things with their husbands and the laxative. So, yeah, we feel bad for them and stop working with it. They don't want them to go to the poker game on Friday night with her friends. So, you know what happened. I feel bad for you guys, sorry. If I give them ideas, but do your best. Uh, if you take a look to the plant, you can also see it has different shapes and sizes of leaves. So we don't have machines to cut it. Yeah, we do the process manually. Of course, we don't cut every day. We just cut based on the orders we get. So depending on what the distributions need, we decide the day and the quantity we're going to harvest in aloe. Yeah, so I just cut the side. In the factory part, they have just a blade where they slice the leaf and it helps them cut the most flat part of the plant. Yeah. And they use a plastic scoop to scoop out the gel, but I'm gonna use the back of the knife. So, like filleting a fish, straight the gel. And there we go. That is my first time doing it. <laughs> if you have an aloe at home and you see the yellow part, you want to put it on your skin, I recommend you to rinse it out first. That's because on the skin, some people get allergic reaction. It gives the plant an awful smell as well. The yellow part is things like onions, pig, underarm, all together. I don't know how to describe it, guys, but it's an awful smell. Yeah, so we don't want to walk around smelling like we didn't take a shower, you know? So after you rinse it out, then you can start using the gel. You can use it for mosquito bites, for sunburn, kitchen burn, to moisturize your skin, or to make any face hair mask. It contains 75 minerals, 18 amino acids, 12 vitamins like B12, which is also good for anemia. So yes, you can eat the gel. Good for diabetes, gastritis, stomach reflux, and you name it. And it contains a lot of vitamin E, which is good for the skin too. Um, the elasticity of the skin to help you repair your skin um, after a cut, after a burn. But now, do you would like to touch it? Rub it on? It doesn't get sticky guys, it dries fast and it's good moisturizer. Okay. 
Believe me, my grandma put it every night on her face and looked like a glazed donut for 10 minutes, but she never looked her age. Yeah, and this is too watery. The gel has to be more slimy. More slimy is we don't cut every day we just cut based of the orders we get so depending on what the distributions and our stores here on the island need with the size the day and quantity we're gonna make it product yeah, so that's why we have a little video here that show you the cutting process of the aloe but it's kind of the same process I did outside with the knife the only part that gonna change is that they wash the leaf three times before cutting it and that's to rinse out the yellow sap. I didn't let it drain that much longer outside, so that's why I wash it after. And the rest of the plant, we use it as a fertilizer. So we throw it back in the plantation. So it doesn't go wasted. We try to use as much possible of this plant. The crystal gel, we're gonna centrifuge it, which means that we put it into a processor that spin it out and gonna take the liquid. The liquid that most of you touch outside, that's what we want to combine with the other ingredients. In a liquid form, it's more easy for the ingredients to compact together. Also, the ingredients we use are essential oils and plant extracts. So we try to keep it as natural as possible. And we also use those ingredients for three more things. To use it as a preservative to the product, to give the product a smell to it, and to complete the other components that maybe the aloe itself do not have. So after having the ingredients ready and the gel, we can start making our products. Do any of you ladies or gentlemen familiar with our product? So there is where the magic begins. Yeah, you're gonna see that all of our machines are numbered all depending on the product and also the quantity of product that they're gonna make in that day. Only automatic machine is the one in the middle, right in front that has a red star on the glass. Yeah, it's a machine that can fill and seal up to 60 tubes a minute, one by second. So it can do the job by itself. In the meantime, that the other ones are bottles filled by hand, the way that the ladies are doing it right now. Yeah, if I'm not wrong, the ladies are filling the special care lotion. No, they're filling the hand and body lotion. Yeah, to moisturize your skin. That collection is made with coconut oil, shea butter, jojoba oil. Yes, and we can say that 75% of the job made in production is manual. So we can offer jobs, they rotate every day doing a different process. So if someone is calling sick or on vacation, the other ones know what to do. And the process of the job can continue. You're gonna find the mineral sunscreens, more friendly with the ribs, and the after sun lotions that are gonna help you prolong the tan, prevent the peeling, that the sun stop keeping penetrate on the skin, and with that, you got to prevent sunspots. Yes, we have our special care lotion, yeah, which is the best moisturizing skin. That's because it contains extra vitamin E, which is good for the elasticity of the skin, and jojoba oil that's going to help to moisturize the normal to the very dry skin. Yes, from our gels, we have the Alcomana, which contains the lidocaine mass.